For this floral arrangement, I'm gonna use this ceramic base. It's a cylinder base, it's four by four, and I like the edge because it has some um, soft wave. I'm gonna put the oasis inside first, and I'm gonna try to let a stock by using little pieces of oasis on the sides of the big or main piece that I uh, put first at the beginning. Remember that the oasis has to be very, very wet. I put in water the day before because it has to use, and among other flowers, I have to use hydrangeas. I'm gonna prepare uh, two or three aspidistra leaves. That's one that you see right now. I'm not sure yet how many I'm gonna need it. But for now, I'm gonna put the wax I will remove the excess and I'm going to put it on the side until the moment that I have to use it. Let me show you what I have to do with the Aspidistra. This is going to be the first leaf that I have to use. I'm going to make a loop on the tip of the leaf and then I'm just going to cut a little bit the stems and pass through for that loop that I just made. So in that uh, way, the leaf is not going to be running and it's not going to get lost. For this small arrangement, I'm going to start working with the lavender roses. I will need only three lavender roses that I have to cut in three different lengths and they will be set in the front of the floral arrangement. My next flowers is going to be a peach stalk. Also, I'm going to cut it in different length and there will be a set in the back of the lavender roses. As I said before, this is going to be in the back of the roses, but I more to the right side of the roses, not totally like a backdrop of the roses. Now you can see what I was talking about. Can you see? Not all the back of the roses is covered with the uh, peach stalk. The other flower words that I'm going to start using now are the purple tulips. With the tulips, I have to play with the length between the uh, stalk and the roses. So it's just gonna be like a, a middle level in between the stalk and the roses. Now I have to uh, use the green emerald hydrangeas. As you can see, it's a huge flower, so I'm gonna have to recut it in order to get in proportion with the uh, other flowers that already I uh, have in the floral arrangement. So I don't want to these flowers be eating the others or be stealing the space that the other flowers need. So I have to move a little bit the other uh, roses um, see if they are gonna uh, cooperate or work together. Uh, this flower that I'm gonna use now is a green moons and it's gonna help me a lot because I needed to spread the green color to the right sides of the floral arrangement. Now I have to 
add some touches of uh, Pussy Willow. I'm gonna use only three pieces and uh, I picked those ones that are more uh, curvy lines and I'm gonna cut in three different lengths and play with the lines of this uh, floral arrangement. of the uh, other aspidistra that I have to put in the back left and after watching the arrangement I decided that I'm gonna use an other aspidistra in the same way that I used the first one so I'm gonna make a loop in the tip of the leaf and then I'm gonna pass through the stems and put it beside the other one just a little bit uh, taller than the first one so it's gonna be another loop The last steps for the floral arrangement is going to be covering the oasis. So um, I have this leaf, um, I guess it's a lemon leaf, I'm going to cut it on a small pieces and just uh, looking for those spaces where you can easily uh, can see the oasis and cover it up. arrangement is ready for delivery. I hope you can try in your house and if you have any question please do not hesitate in getting in contact with me. I'm gonna be more than happy to help you. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you so much.